Hey everyone, Sir Terran here again. And like the title and thumbnail implies, today we take Elise, Timo, Burn all the way to Masters. It took me a while to get to Masters this season. I'll be honest with you all, I haven't been playing Runeterra as much as I used to after the news. You know, because really, there's no goal anymore. There's no tournament to practice for. So I'm, I'm playing the game because it's still fun but not as often as I used to like even two months ago, which is kind of sad, but hey, that's the state of Runeterra these days. But we finally got there after recording all these videos over the past month in Eternal, and we did it with Timo Elu Elise Burn. So if you haven't seen this deck before, it's just a bunch of burn. So you just literally push damage into the opponent with your elusive, with your other units, and you just burn them out. The whole deck is literally burn. The MVP of this deck and what this deck does so well in Eternal is Doombeast, just because of how well it synergizes with Fading Memory and Unto Dusk to give you a lot of burn while also giving you a lot of healing. So, hope you enjoyed these games of my journey through Diamond 1 as we get to Masters. If you liked this video, make sure to like it below and subscribe to us. We post card game videos every single day. Enjoy the games. In this match, we're going to against Action Silver and Eldritch. Um, the heal boom are kind of annoying, I guess. Let's, uh, let's look for better stuff. There you go. That's the better stuff right here. This, this beautiful, amazing, beautiful, amazing team, all right? We can go on looker twice next turn as well, I guess, potentially. Yeah, so this team is amazing. Will be extra damage throughout the game. Uh, we'll go here. I'm, I'm, I'm debating whether going double and look or next turn makes sense. Next attack turn, right? That is a lot of damage that was pushing. Yeah, there you go. See? One damage right away. We can go... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. No way you don't have anything, right? They don't have anything. <laughs> Let's just take our attack. Let's just uh, get our attack in here. Push what we can. Opponent's probably gonna play the Vagabond here, right? We Measure the Hunter. That's cool. Let's keep the Mystic Shot in case that we draw like a Doom Beast. Then we can play the Doom Beast after the Mystic Shot. Oh, beautiful. That's already two damage. And look at that. What did I say? What did I say? I I'm probably actually not even gonna play this Doom Beast after this, by the way. I'm probably just gonna go Clockling here. And I kind of just like these fading memories at this point. Although I guess, I guess we can go ballistic bar, and just have this ignition. The fading memory is nice because I guess it gives me another doom beast. Oh, uh, you know, fading memory might be better, just because it's an additional attacker, right? Uh, the opponent could have access here to some crazy stuff. Yeah, that that makes more sense to me. Do we? Mark of the Owls this. I think we do. I think we make the opponent have one less unit. Especially because we have all these fading uh, all these fading memories for the unlocker. Okay. I'm gonna keep this mystic shard. Because uh, to, to kinda punish an opponent's strike. Right? Uh yeah, we go cast salesman. And I guess we go on Looker. This is two damage. We still have access to this Mystic Shot. Opponent's gonna have to block this. That's two more damage here, so that's four total. And two here. And opponent has to block this. Has to block this. Has to block this as well. All right, cool. That's quote unquote lethal. Of course, these guys are also gonna die. Yeah, so we two, four, five, six. So opponent goes to six, and we have the set. We have eight damage on our hand. So even if the opponent gets the heal boom, we can technically get there. If you're not blocking this, Quit struggling. this damage is guaranteed. This this guy already has vulnerable. I'm gonna go like this. Now this mystic shot is the same as keeping this alive. But the benefit with this Mystic Shot is that it, it would have gotten rid of the Merciless Hunter. Opponent ended up having the answer for us, so I guess they're okay. So now we're missing... Well, we still have enough burn, right? We still have enough burn. 
just because of the Doombies. And we can block their Merciless Hunter if they go for it. A second Shape Song was not what I expected. Oh, this blowback is also nice. That could be a problem. I guess we can go here. And just get another Salesman. That gets them down to three, and Doombies gets them down to one. And that way we can beat we can beat them with Doombies or blowback next turn, right? Yes. We don't want to play these Doombies here. So we don't want to play these Doombies here just yet. I can go ahead and slap it right now. And opponent goes to one. What if instead of Doombies, we just play Fading Memories on this cast Salesman? It guarantees the lethal even if the opponent finds a lot of negation, right? I guess if the opponent has double heal boom, that could be a problem. Hmm. Let's go for it this way. I like the cast salesman, just putting them on a timer where the opponent has to find the answer. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I like this. Opponent, because the, the cast salesman doesn't get beat by Ryan Negation. He only gets beat by the opponent having a Sid drop that gives them the heal boom. And then after that, they also have to have a Rider Negation to beat my blowback. Because the opponent's going to go to one here. So we have two ways to commit lethal here, right? So GG's. In this match, we're going against Udyr and Urn with Shurim. So we know that the opponent's definitely playing the Berserker. Um, I like the Ballistic Bot. I want to see my. I want to see something like this, like Teemo. Perfect. So the Ballistic Bot is good. Teemo is even better. We can go Teemo, Ballistic Bot, slowly burn them out. We can go at least if we need to. Uh, this is going to push one damage at the very least and obviously put five popcaps in the opponent's deck, which is what we want. I guess my question is, is it Elise or is it Ballistic Bot? The Elise Spiraling gets blocked by the Apprentice, but then we're pushing more damage this way. Um... The Bunku Roki is pushing also 2 damage. They're both pushing 2 damage, right? They're both pushing 2 damage. Ah, but this gives the opponent the equipment now. Sure. Be my guess. Now, the problem here is that obviously the opponent has... Uh, this This was actually uh, buffed up by the Weaponsmith Apprentice, right? So the opponent is able to put it here and be able to block this Roki. So I think we go here. I think we go here. Just attack for another one damage. And we'll just go for the Ballistic Bot. Oh, man. Oh, man. We got to kill that. We got to kill that right now. Unfortunately. Before the opponent can heal another damage. Any damage that they heal is bad for us, right? So killing that right off the bat is going to be more important than anything else that we do. Uh, we can go double ballistic and then just go Rocky next turn, I guess, and have this fading memory. Okay. We can also go Rocky right now. I mean, I guess opponent can actually. Eh, cool. Let's get the ignitions. Let's get the ignitions. We'll block here. This is gonna start being a lot of damage. If we play the Roki, we push 2 damage, but the opponent's going to potentially find a blocker. If we go here, we're pushing 2 damage as well, but we get to find some other unit. Like this. And the Doombis is better, because the Doombis is also healing me up. I guess I can just go ahead and kill this Teemo. And that's fine. Am I, am I upset about that? Probably not, right? Can I just go here and here? I can go here and at least force the attack with this ballistic bar, right? Force the opponent to block. They will have to put that fish away to you to block this ballistic bar. And if they do that, then I just don't attack with it. 
So if they go ahead and put the Fisher Walk on one of these units, I don't block with the Ballistic Bar, right? Yeah, so then we just go here. I mean, I don't attack with the Ballistic Bar, sorry. I want to get the Ignitions. That's going to be two more damage. And it enables my Doombies. And here's our burn. We take 5, 9, 10. 5, 9, 10. A little bit more here. 5, 9, 13, 14. Mm. 14? Cool. What it, must, what it must be like, what the heck just happened? He just took all that damage? That's crazy. Yeah, that's crazy, my friend. And that's because I have Doombies. Yeah, that's because I have Doombies, so I'm, I'm not afraid to take that damage. So here we're going to push one, two damage here. So that's two damage. Ah, sorry, that's four damage. So four damage by going like this. The opponent is forced to... We can force him to block everywhere. So if I go like this, this is 4 damage. Opponent goes down to 7. We have Fading Memories. I guess we don't need to do anything. Yeah, we don't need to do anything. We can just go like this. I guess opponent can stop this damage if they have a freeze or something. We're just gonna go Fading Memories into Doombies. Into Doombies, into Doombies, and then have access to this Into Dusk. Yeah, so they go here. Then we go like this. Uh, we can go get excited. You know, we have we have a lot of ways to do this, right? Uh, I, I guess I, I guess I better just do it this way. Yeah, I better just do it this way first. Let me get the draw, and then we go double ignition. Opponent goes down to one, and then we just go get excited or mystic shot. We don't get to use the second fatty memory, but that's okay. We only needed one. And opponent is gonna slowly get burned out on four turns for that. They, they have to open attack, because otherwise they also lose to the ignition. So they open attack, and we set up the mystic. Then they then they they do it again, and we go for the get excited. So. One right of negation doesn't stop me. Two right of negations could stop me. All right? So we tell them, all right, do you have the two right of negations? And they don't have even one. <laughs> yeah, so we just mystic their face and just win the game. So, and, uh, yeah, at least opponent got own level up, right? That's some mastery points. <laughs> GG's. In this match, we're going against the Black Udyr Cadillac. Can we just aggro them down? I don't see why not, right? I don't see why not. Timo, Rocky. No! That damn Omen Hawk. God damn Omen Hawk. I still go Rocky. I still go Rocky and attack with the team. Especially now that the opponent didn't give me the attack. We'll go like this. We'll attack with the Rocky. Push two damage. Potentially three. Yep. Let you block with the Omen Hawk if you want to. Cool. I'm, I'm still getting double value here, right? So this, this is going to end up being four damage total. Which is everything that we need. We can go Ballistic into Teemo. 13. Okay, cool. I am superior like uh sure. Uh my hand is not great. My hand is not great at all, by the way. Like at all. I can go at least. But I feel like at least is just gonna get punished. So I'm just gonna keep at least as a blocker for later. And just push this damage, right? Uh, this hand is not great. I guess we have three sits burn. That takes the opponent down. Yeah, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, whew, whew. Surely the opponent doesn't have... That's why I didn't want to play Elise, by the way. Because I knew the opponent had both their units up. 
So it didn't make any sense. That's great. That's such a good hit. That is such a good hit. Oh my goodness. Three sits, seven. The opponent goes down to seven. It will all be over soon. I guess the opponent is just banking on killing us before we kill before before like killing us before we kill them, right? I, I respect it. I respect it. They can definitely do that. What what do you have in your hand that you decided to just open attack though? That makes no sense. Yeah, that kind of makes no sense. What do they have in their hand? Okay. So if they give their if they give their berserker overwhelm, that's gonna be a problem. They have to go overwhelm, right? They can't go ram stance. So if they if this if they give this overwhelm, that might actually be a big problem. Regen does nothing for us. Calling strike. That's a really good calling strike. Wow. That's a really good counter strike. I did not expect that. So it's all up to the burn now then, right? The Unto Dusk is so nice. If we have if we had the Doombies. The cast salesman gives us blockers so that we don't die next uh, on the on the following turn. Oh, Okay, this is why the Ballistic Ball was important, because I needed this Discard Fodder. This is not great. Did you go for the Overwhelm? Again, the Overwhelm is the only thing here that punishes me. Yeah, they, they have to go for the Overwhelm, right? That makes the most sense here. You go Overwhelm. And I'm going to have to blow back this Berserker. I'm not gonna have to blow back this Berserker. They don't go for it right now. I guess he always leaves the threat of a Ram Stance, right? They can go Ram Stance three times here. Or ram stance two times. If they go ram stance, we can actually kill them. Let's make it deep. This will take us down to two, but the opponent will go down to eight plus another two. Okay. I was gonna say if they go for the ram stance, they actually will die. So I don't think we actually play this team. I think we just get excited, get excited, and then save the Teemo to have lethal. Yeah, the opponent's not allowed to play Ram Stance, actually. I guess they could have the Rally. But they, don't, it, they still don't have Overwhelm, right? So even if they play the Rally card here, it doesn't matter. And by Rally, I mean the Noxus Rally card, right? So if they go Ram Stance, they're pushing 4 damage to themselves, which takes them down to 3, which then lets me just kill them. This is bad. I can't beat the Rally this time. Yeah, I cannot beat the Rally this time, but the opponent didn't have it. Uh, yeah, opponent didn't have it, right? We're, we're gonna, we're gonna, we have blowback anyways, fine, but still. Just to let you know that it wasn't the Mystic Shot that killed us. Yeah, we just go like this, go for six. Yeah, that, that, that popcat didn't matter in the end, right? If it, if it was two popcats, maybe. We just need to find enough cards in our hand to be able to commit lethal, to be able to discard for blowback, and we found it. Opponent, I think opponent could have won this game. Opponent could have won this game if they went with Overwhelm. Like, look how low we got. We got to 4 HP. If they had Overwhelm on two other units, like if they had played Udyr and then played Overwhelm instead of playing Regen after the, Like, I don't know what they open attack. 
I don't know why they open attack when they literally have the big unit. Like, you know I'm a burn back. You know you have to deal with my burn sooner rather than later. So, GG's. And I actually think that's the game that takes us to Masters, right? Let me see. Yes, it is. There we go. It took me a while this time. <laughs> I just haven't been playing this game that much recently, but we got there. Masters in Eternal, probably the last Master season ever, right? I don't know. I don't know how rank is going to work after the next expansion. A little bit of bittersweet, right? But another new deck that we reach Masters with, so GG's. In this match, we're going against Twisted Fate and Mila. Oh, I mean, it's kind of annoying, right? Because they do have a lot of, like, aggression. I think I need Doombies. I need Doombies. I need Doombies. There's the Doombies. And there's the Unto Dusk. We can go Ballistic Shot. Ah, Ballistic Shot. Ballistic Bot, right? We can go Ballistic Bot and the Ignitions would allow me... To... The good thing in this matchup is that all the burn is going to stick. The opponent has no heal. The bad thing is that they are very aggressive, just as much as we are. So Fading Memory, Doom Beast, and Unto Dust. That's already sits Burn and sits Heal towards us. Ballistic Bot is another one. Um, I might not play... Well, I guess I can do it because I have the Fading I have the fading now. Oh, I wish I had Timo last turn. Timo last turn would have been nice. Yeah, Timo last turn would have been nice. I do have the Fading Memories now, so I think I can really go ahead and play the Doom Beast. Jana, I answer. Yeah, I, I, we'll go like this. If you have the way to kill this, you have the way to kill this. I don't really care. They don't kill it. And we'll go like this. Make it so that this can actually be a good blocker into like a Mila. And we just pass. <laughs> what? 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 Yeah. Uh, sure. Sure, my friend. I will just pass. If you, you're gonna you're gonna let me pass again. I can continue doing this all day. Okay. Opponent thinks that they are the ones that need to buy time. I they are not. <laughs> we can just go like this. Some contemple, I guess. Marina. All right. Uh, we'll oh, I love that for you. We'll play the Teemo. Of course, they're putting to give me a Mystic Shot here or some type of burn. Yeah, so they finally decided to just play their stuff. All right, so here we go for the Doom Beast. And uh, we can attack here. Of course, they're putting to give me a Mystic Shot on this Teemo. Cool. That still leaves this Doom Beast chilling. And I guess we'll just do Unto Dust, to be honest. Let's just get back to 20 and see what we get. Oh, if I did it, I could have actually gone fading uh, Mark of the Isles onto the Teemo. That would have been nice. We have blockers here with the salesman. Dusting off the fisticuffs. Sure. Yeah, I'm just gonna go here. Again, I'm just burning them out, right? Cool. I need to find another removal for this. I should have probably played this last turn, right? Because that's two damage that I'm gonna lose right now. I should have gone for salesman here. I'm always up for a round or two. Okay, so then we just go here. Cool. So I just want to push two damage with this guy. So we go here. We push two here. Getting down to eight. This is getting down to six. And do we have enough? Yeah, we have enough. We have enough already for Lito. So, uh... Yeah, let's just go for it. We have enough for lethal already because of the burn that we have. We can play salesman into Doombies. That's gonna be four, and then we have five more in our hand, right? This this deck is just so nuts. The amount of burn that this deck has is ridiculous. Yeah, like we just go here. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what you do, friend. You're still gonna die. It doesn't matter what you do. Yeah, you have four life. What's your play? Okay. GG's. They have no way to stop this. Right? So they don't have any denies. They don't have any heals. So we just get there. 
I don't know why why didn't they rummage first the way I got in two more barrage out of this. That would have probably been better for them at the end of the at the end of the run. So yeah, this deck. This deck is something else. <laughs> GG's. In this match, we're gonna against Action Silver and Elder Dragon. So, 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 so. I don't like this hand. I actually don't like this hand. I think I wanna have Timo and Elusives instead. Yeah, so Timo's better. Bunkuroki is better as well. Because I feel like the opponent has too many ways to deal with the Elise. Ballistic Body is not bad, right? It gives me like a consistent burn. So we got Timo, Bunkuroki. Opponent needs to find action here. And even after they play action, they're going to have to also give me a Shapestone to be able to block this Bunkuroki. Because otherwise I'm just going to open attack with it. And the opponent really takes one popcat damage. That's awesome. Yeah, so this has to be action. And it is. We go Roki. We play around Shapestone so we don't block this. We just open attack, push another 2 damage, and 3 damage here. Uh, the opponent's going to have to give me Shapestone to get rid of this Bunker Roki. And that gives me access to get excited if the opponent has anything else. Uh, I'd rather just do this instead of uh, not open attacking because the opponent could have access to like this strike. They take an extra damage here. That cannot be right. Wow. So we just go ballistic here and double Bunku Roki next turn. Why? I guess they must have just joined that. Because otherwise, it made no sense to play to not play that on turn one. Uh, they will be able to have access here to like an action strike. They, they lose the game. They actually just lose the game right there, by the way. You want to know why? They're going to push 8 damage here. That would be my guess. And we're going to go double Roki. We're going to still have this Ignition in here. we also going to have Teemo. Yeah, tough. Cool. Uh, yeah, yeah, that would be my guess. You're gonna have to find like a banner negation or a quicksand. You're gonna have to find a quicksand. Because the thing is that they only have two blockers. Because they only have two blockers, unless they get a Bakai here. I guess they can get another treasure seeker or another or a Bakai, and that will let them get there. Has to be exactly that. Nothing else, nothing else protects you. And they even drew a puff cap to add insult to injury. Yep, so that's 6 damage already with the rookies. One here, one here, so that's gonna be 8. And, uh, yeah. Cool. Now what? I'm still scared of quicksand. Yeah, I'm still scared, I'm still scared of quicksand, right? So I think I'm just gonna press OK here. I could have gone for this team on puff cap and double up the puff caps. <laughs> opponent lets the uh, opponent kills the ballistic bot. We can go ignition into Doombies and that's lethal. And then we also have get excited for next time. So the opponent has to keep mana here for radiation to not die. And then we still have another way to commit lethal next time. So yes, Phil should a challenger. Okay, so they just tapped out of. They just tapped out of the random negation, right? So I guess we'll go like this. I guess they can actually trigger this horde and draw their stuff. But I'm just gonna play it slow. I'm just gonna play it slow. Let them do their thing. They can trigger this here and then draw, but they still don't have enough, right? Even with the draw, because they need one. They need to spend one mana to trigger this. So when they do the frontal power. The Rata Negation is still going to cost 3, and opponent doesn't have enough for it. And then that's the end. Yeah, unfortunately for your opponent, not having enough blockers just was a death sentence, right? The moment that I saw him put the second uh, Glaive into the Treasure Seeker, it was like over. So just... Hey, welcome back everyone. Hope you enjoyed that journey of Team on Elise to Masters. And honestly, yeah, this deck, this deck is ridiculous. I actually think this deck is one of the better better decks in the tournament right now. 
is so much burn it's so much burn guys like it's ridiculous just how much reach you have like oh, ballistic bar is burning bunker rocky is burning doom beast is burning salesman is burning Clocking and team are elusive you have your fading memory on your doom beast or your salesman you have mystic shot for face get excited for face blowback for face shock blast for face and unto dusk into into the doom beast as well like everything is just burnt right and it's so crazy because if the opponent gets like below 10 there's a good chance you're gonna be able to finish them off as you saw in multiple scenarios in today's video uh it was crazy because the, from the moment that i started recording this video until the end so the five games that you saw i started in diamond one all five games went five and zero got to masters didn't lose a single game because yeah i i think if you know how to pilot this game this deck is actually pretty crazy what you can do so how do we do with the mulligan in the mulligan early on i do want to see my burn later not early so early on in the mulligan that's what i'm looking from timo elise ballistic buff rookie right or even on looker at times if you're attacking on turn two especially because you can go timo into one looker for a bunch of damage right away so you want to look for your early units your one drops and your two drops to begin the game and then as you transition to turn three four that's when you start looking at okay how much burn damage do i need to finish the game and that's when you start dropping your doom beast and your cast salesman do not play doom and your clocking do not play doom beast until you have your fading memories or your own to dusk because otherwise you're letting that doom beast die for free right doom beast is very good in synergy with these cards so if, if you don't have to play doom beast right away don't do it until you have those cards and just use it as the last thing that you do to kind of burn your opponent out the clock is amazing that you can drop in turn four because it lets you get value and join to another card which is amazing for a burn deck just getting even more access to cards right so again you kick out your spells and your strategy early on is just units from turn one all the way to turn five and then after that is when you're going to switch to burn your opponent is probably going to be at like eight seven hp and that's when you have to look about hey how can i burn the opponent out you saw us in that game against the udi player where we literally just went get excited blowback to just finish the last set of life that the opponent had so yeah just keep that in mind count how much burn you have and go from there that's gonna be it for us for today I hope that you enjoyed today's games. If you did, make sure to like it below and subscribe to us. We post card game videos every single day. Uh, you can also join our channel and become a member. We have two tiers, gladiators and champions, each one with the different perks. Make sure to check that out in the description below or on the join button next to the subscription button. You can also find us on Twitch at Twitch channel we stream every now and then. And you can also find us on Discord and Twitter. The links to those are both in the description below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all again tomorrow.